In this clip we'll talk about retentive instructions and one shot. I've constructed a circuit here to include the retentive instructions uh, RTO, CTU, latch and unlatch and also using OSR for the one shot instruction. Basically this circuit here uh, is a s simulation of a conveyor sensor counting parts passing with a time base of the number of parts per pass uh, then turning on a, a clocking a counter and the counter then resets itself after a number of parts have passed. Again probably the circuit operation isn't that critical to understanding it but we're just going to view the uh, operation of the circuit. The one shot's there to stop any holding uh, input on the latch so if I press the start button or held the, turn the start switch on and left it on that the latch isn't affected by the uh, that instruction because the one shot just gives it a one second or a one scan pulse and so then the further on down in the circuit the latch can be turned off so we'll demonstrate the circuit first of all and then go and explain it a bit further so I'll toggle it to go on and you can see now I've left that on and the latch bit is there on and the circuits doing its thing and gone through and turned off again so that's a bit of a short time base so we'll change it to two so we can view it a bit longer and we'll toggle that bit on and off again and away we go so the latch bits on the time is timing the count is counting and after the five counts the latch bit will turn off and even though we've got the on bit on there the latch bit has turned off and that's protected by this OSR so that's a good example of using an OSR okay so let's move down here now to the the timing circuit just uh, moving it up there a little bit that's quite off the screen a bit is the reset for the timer you might not have noticed that there so these uh, circuits here will retain their values if the power is removed and you would have discussed in your lesson that if the power is removed and you're using retentive instruction you have to be very aware that when the power comes back on the retentive instruction will resume the state it was in now that may be not so important for things like counters and timers but for latch bits that happen to be on an output it may well be important you don't want outputs coming on unexpectedly so that's a health and safety issue you need to examine within your circuit construction so be sure that any latch bits that you use that affect outputs make sure that uh, you deal with that appropriately if the power goes on and off now because we're using an emulator we can't really turn the power on and off so I can select uh, program and that will turn the power off and then put it back into run or I can toggle into my emulator and I can press halt or run to turn it back so what we'll do is we'll get the circuit started uh, I'll just increase this time a bit more put it up to five to give us plenty of time to demonstrate the count value uh, without it sort of getting ahead of us a bit so you can see this little bit of circuit here might look a little uh, complex but basically uh, if the latch bits on the timer done bit is uh, it's a free running timer but a retentive timer so we must have remember for retentive timers we must have a reset so each time that timer bit goes true it turns itself off here turns itself down to the uh, uh, the counter counts a count goes through the counter done bit will reset when it comes to the number of counts and also unlatch the latch bit but each time period the counter will reset itself okay so uh, some people might say that's unnecessary there because it'll still reset itself but uh, I like to include it rightio so we'll just uh, toggle this bit here to start our circuit going and we're in the middle of a count here so we'll just go to the emulator and go halt so if you can just imagine here we've turned the power off uh, and the latch bit remains on 
the timer keeps its value of accumulator which is 2 in this case the counter has kept its accumulated value of 1 and the latch bits on so uh, obviously if this was an output there would be nothing on because the power has gone off but as soon as we go back to our uh, emulator and uh, or the power gets returned to its normal state all things are as they were so that's a demonstration of one shot protecting us from leaving an input on and retentive